Mm, take that. Mm, 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 you know, I like that. Mm. And so, the bottom screen finally becomes useful in a little thing we like to call the Pokey Touch. Introducing the Pokey Touch, a wonderful device that trainers everywhere can use. If they happen to come across the guy that thinks you may look like a potential trainer that's suitable enough for a watch and send you out to look for some clowns. Anyway, your basic Pokey Touch, the one you get straight off the bat, comes with only a few features. There is your clock feature, which for some reason if you kind of tap on, it makes the brighter, which is kind of pointless since the screen itself is bright. But we also have the Pikachu kind of anime when you type tapped on it, you know, he him kind of looking like he's kind of using electricity, his face all kind of squinchy or something. Anyway, your next feature is the wonderful device known as the calculator. Is it pointless? Well, kind of, but who knows? You may need this in a gym someday. Hint, hint. Next up, we have the most wonderful device of all. The kind of pedometer sort of thing. I mean... Look, I've taken 25 steps. I rock. All the features include this, which shows what Pokemon are actually in your party and how the health bar is at. Because, you know, pressing start and going to Pokemon is just too much effort. And that concludes all of the PokeTouch applications. To get more PokeTouch applications added to your PokeTouch, just go around and find random people that may be willing to hand over applications just in case you do something that's very heroic. Um, that. So with that done, let's continue. But what else can we really do in this city? To be honest, <coughs> nothing. I mean, we can go to the Pokemon. I may want to snuck up, but I don't have any potions. Well, I have one. So this is what a Pokemon actually looks like from on the end. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's Pokeballs. That's fine. Gone, poor. I splashed pretty much over over nine thousand percent of my money on potions. <laughs> oh well. And there is a very good reason as to why we may want to stock up on items and such, because our next location is that of Orgberg City, which happens to be off in this very direction. But, a phenomena is about to occur. What is said phenomena? Him. Hey Dorn, tell me you got a little tougher. Me? You even have to ask. Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. No berry dance? Uh, uh, reminding us that this is still Diamond and Pearl. <sighs> anyway, here is your first, the first rival battle against the Pokemon rival, uh, whatever you call your guy. <sighs> He's gonna have a level 7 Starly, and I did not even actually heal up. No! <laughs> God damn it! Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. What a generic line that absolutely makes no sense whatsoever because all we did was just land one move on him. And suddenly he's like, Whoa, dude, don't be like so out there and thinking you've won this by taking off <sighs> free HP off my Pokemon. Oh, I can see a crack attack's gonna get annoying. So I shall tackle! Tackle forever! Tackle, tackle, tackle here, tackle there, tackle right where, tackle, tackle. Oh, my tackle had a tackle. Ew. Anyway. Yeah. 
I like his bell theme. Sounds wicked. My Pokemon HP is low. This could be a close fight. Okay, one. Your Pokemon's HP is at a half. I just don't got another Pokemon. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we are in a battle uh, against Jerry. Oh, wait, I mean Mary. He sorely is getting annoying. Growling at me, lowering my attack. What a heck. I'm so pissed off right now. Will you please stop making me have to sing? Right now I'm only taking off one HP. This is so gay, I don't know what else to say. So I'll just keep on humming the theme. <laughs> Oh yeah, bitch, you just got on by a level 7 stinks. That you were completely trying to rape over, but I'm not gonna let you rape over my Samus. No way, Jose. Still can't use an electric type move. Well, doesn't that just suck my ass? Anyway, he's second Pokemon, in case you didn't guess. <gasps> It's his starter, and it's really gonna depend on what the hell your starter was. And it's pretty much gonna screw you over, because at this point, his Pokemon starter is gonna have a move that's gonna be super effective against your starter. And you could be screwed if you decide to keep Shinx in just so it can gain some enough experience to level up to hopefully learn an electric type move to take out of that pit club, even knowing that your yeah, Shinx is so suffering the effects of having its attack lowered by that stupid ass Starly, so now I'm gonna have to send out my goddamn Tongi that's still kind of slightly underleveled. Not by much, but come on, this is a pit club we're up against. I mean I mean if you train them pop properly, they can they all Assassins, dude. Either that, or you decide to carry them around, even knowing they're not scared of Pokeballs and use them to enter contests that so you're just gonna lose anyway. But I mean, who the hell would be like, man? What the hell is this I'm watching anyway? Oh, that's right, this TV sucks when, when it comes to information. What? This is more interesting than, well, say nothing. Let's see, let me see for any. The Rock. An FBI chemical weapon expert and a jailed SAS veteran must break into Alcatraz to bring down a renegade general and his men. We're showing Connery and Nicholas Cage. Hmm? Oh. Well, there's very much nothing else on. I thought that maybe Family Guy would be on by now, but nope, still gonna have a to go. I could go back to watching, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but, meh. Not really paying attention to the TV anyway. I'm trying to do a battle. But, well, when this battle is slow and annoying, You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me, right? Ugh. Okay. Another freaking first rival battle really shouldn't have been this annoying. Well, at least we learned taunt. Yay. Yes, Barry, you lost. Wow! What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I ever lose. It's the first time you've ever lost. Lost. Unless you've lost the times before me. Which I guess you really suck. 
I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is to take on the Orgberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna toughen up for that, totally. Yay. Nothing else to say? Good! Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm slightly tired. A bit annoyed. And I need to go heal up. So, when we come back, I'm go we're gonna be venturing off to that route that we were just on, which I can't remember what route number it is because I wasn't paying attention. But we're gonna be on that route anyway, so yeah. See you guys then.